multiplied addition with carry. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is added with 5, 6, 7, 8. So 1, 2, 3, 4 is hexadecimal, 5, 6, 7, 8 is hexadecimal. And its decimal equivalent, if you see, 1, 2, 3, 4 decimal equivalent is 4660. And 5, 6, 7, 8 decimal equivalent is 22,136. And 6, 8 AC is 26,796 is the decimal equivalent. You must know because we are not at all being with hexadecimal number, always human beings are being with uh, decimal number. So the computation is happening in binary, hence we are representing in hexadecimal. But at last, this 1, 2, 3, 4 has to come out to the screen as 4660, then only any human being can understand. If any display shows 0x1234, no human being can understand. So the code conversions are playing a major role in bringing the memory content to the display. That is why we do code conversion as one of the fifth experiment. Okay. So this is just what is happening inside the microcontroller, processor and memory. This is how we have to bring out the data to the display if we, it is a calculator, say for example. And similarly, the second data is 7FFF. What is 7FFF? 32,767. Adding 32,767, the answer will be 62,534. These two operations do not have any carry in 16 bit. But when you do FFFF means 62,535 plus 62,535, the answer will be some 131,070. And this generates a carry. Let us see how best we have to write a program for multi byte addition. It's very simple. We are going to do the repeat the same thing what we did twice. So add this 34 and 78, and we will get AC. Very simple, right? Add this LSB first and we'll get the sum and observe carry. If there is a carry, add this 12 and 56 along with the carry and then store it in 68. That's all. So there is an instruction called add with carry. That is the prime requirement we have to concentrate. So better we have to store it, no? 34 must be stored in the LSB has to be stored in the 20th memory location and 1, 2 has to be stored in 21st memory location. So 34, 1, 2. And 78.56, in this sequence, you have to store the content in the data location as shown. This is very, very important. So, 1, 2 has to be, 34 has to be stored in 28 memory location. 1, 2 has to be stored in 21st memory location. 78 in 22. 56 in 23. So, LSB of data 1, MSB of data 1, LSB of data 2, MSB of data 2. So, in the first four locations, LSB first, MSB next. Because the memory is also 8 bit, but the content is 16 bit. So least significant byte first, most significant byte next like this, we are writing in. And the answer, we are storing it in 24, 25, and 26. LSB of sum and MSB of sum and MSB2 of sum. Because when we are adding two 16-bit number, answer may go beyond uh, 16 bits. Hence, we are going, uh, allocating three locations for the sum answer, LSB, MSB1, MSB2. So this is, this is the one we need to understand first. By having this in mind, we have to write the code. Okay. So coding is very simple, ORG000H as usual. And uh, first data, if you observe carefully, moving this LSB to the accumulator, then adding the 78, right? 34 must be added with 78, no, you see? Look at the screen, look at the cursor, concentration here, all of you. This is very, very important. Please look at the screen, look at the cursor. 34 is added with 78, right? So 34 has gone to the accumulator. 78 is in 22nd memory location. So Add the accumulator with 22nd memory location. That is the first thing we have to do. 34 and 78 need to be added. So for that, add a comma 22. And the sum will be there. Sum has to go to the 24th memory location. Sum has to go to 24th memory location. So we have to move 24h comma a should be your next instruction. Move 24h comma a. So ac is the value. Then we have to add 12 and 56. For that, bring 12. 12 is in 21st memory location. Again, move a comma 21 is very interesting. So we have to bring 12 to the accumulator. So move a comma 21. And here it is very important. We have, if there is any carry in the previous sum, if there is any carry in the previous sum, that carry should also be included in this addition. Hence, there is an instruction called add with carry, ADDC. So, so the 56 must be added with the carry. Yes or no? The 56 must be added with 12 along with the previous carry. So, add carry. This is very interesting. So, this is the very important instruction, new instruction which you are bringing in. ADDC A comma 23H. Now, the sum will be there in the accumulator, which has to go to the... Now, we have to check for uh, carry now here. While performing this addition, if there is any carry or not, that we have to check. So, for that, if there is no carry, jump to loop 2. If there is a carry, means as usual increment R2. And send the accumulator content to 68. So, that means... 68, that means MOV 25H comma A. 
like that we have to write mov 25 h comma a and then mov 26 h comma r2 same as b of this and sharp jump loop one so this is the uh, code for adding two 16 bit number using 8 bit microcontroller this is how it works so our interest is adding FFSS, FFSS with FFSS and FFSS. That is 63535, error is The answer should be FE, FF and 01. So let us check that answer by executing this. Move A comma 20 H which is FF and add A comma 24 H and uh, store the sum in this fc then uh, again uh, add with carry jump no carry but there will be a carry because the carry flag will set because of this the carry flag was set hence it will increment the r2 and then it will come back to the 25th location and then 26th location then program execution was halted you can see fc ff and one so this is how one ff and fc that is what the answer. One FF and FE when we add to FF FF plus FF. Here you can see hexadecimal clearing the screen, minimizing it. FF FF plus FF FF, which is equal to one FF FE. That is what the answer which we observe here. One FF FE. That is what we are expecting in the. Expecting in the data sheet also, expecting it in the code also. This is what the code that is what we are expecting. One FFFE. There is another value, seven FFF, seven FFF gives FFFE, FFFE. That can also we can try. That can also we can try. So, debug start stuff, we can change that once again. Compile build, debug start stuff, going back to the simulator window here you see we have to enter ff 7f 47f 32767 is added with 32767 so lsb is ff msb 7f msb 7f so the sum let us check single step move a comma 20 now you see 7f now you, now you see PSW, there is no carry now, you see, there is no carry, carry is zero. By performing this addition, the carry flag will set, why? Because there will be an overflow, already the accumulator is going to be FF. When we adding the 7F with FF, definitely there will be an overflow. So, the overflow is notified by setting the carry flag, you see. So, whichever recently is changing, that is highlighted through the blue color, wire, blue color notification. So, carry flag sets because of this arithmetic operation and saying that there is an overflow, please consider it. That is why we are considering now. So a comma 24, so yes, it is on. Then adding it with carry. So adding the content with the carry. And then again, uh, the carry flag set. Again, now there, now there is no carry, why? Because this this addition, that is 7f plus 7f. 7f plus 7f, there is no carry. Why? Because 7f, it's a decimal equivalent is 127. 127 plus 127, 254. So because 254 is F4, FE, 254 is FE. Already there was a carry because the instruction is added with carry. So 254 plus 1, 255, which is FF here. So that is why there is no carry. If the condition is true, it will never increment R2. It will jump to loop 2, you can see. It will, it will jump to loop 2. Yes, it has jumped to loop 2. And documenter gun has gone to 25. And uh, this. So FF, FE is the answer. You see, 24th and 25th location, FF and FE. So 24th location is LSB. 25th location is more significant by it. So, FFFE is the answer. That is what we are watching in the calculator also. One FFFE because it is 7 FFF. We'll do it. 7 FFF plus, you can see 7 FFF plus 7 FFF, which is 32,767 plus 32,767 is FFFE. 65,534. 65,534, which is FFFE, that is what we are observing in the KLIDE. Fantastic.
so it is very important now you see we must know the hexadecimal number we must know the decimal number we must know how to write the data lsb first msb first and where to use the add with carry instruction and where to use jump no carry instruction everything we have to focus this carefully then only we will get the right answer as perfectly so this is how we have to write the program using 8015 microcontroller this is how we have to write the assembly language programming using 8015 microcontroller this is how we have to simulate the program using klide that is how it works and that has been simulated also